Hello everyone, welcome to a former farming in the Philippines. So, this morning, uh, getting some of Tatai's sand here for his, that he'd ordered for his rendering and uh, transporting hopefully enough of it to uh, finish that uh, wall on the first culvert. I know we got a lot here. What can you say, Tate? <laughs> heavy, yeah, that's heavy. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, start driving. All right. Well, again, we had more rains last night. Uh, not heavy rain, just rain. And this last six feet of this steep hill I can't make it up right there is I don't know it's a little dip some roots there or whatever there's a little dip and uh, it's not like I can get a run at it as you can see it was interesting even getting up this far um, I don't know <laughs> uh, even know if we let's see dude. there's no shovel back there either all right we're gonna try to put enough rock in there so I can get across well we made it just barely I'm not doing that again not right after a rain just <laughs> insanity we almost ended up in the in the ditch crossing that next culvert back almost ended up in the ditch here you can see my tracks right there because when the tires are totally caked with mud you can't steer you can see almost I mean I was almost sideways when I went over this bridge only because I goosed it right at the last second with the wheel hard over to get the front wheels to bite and pull over that's the only way we made it across this so Almost went over on that side there and almost went over on this side here. You can see that the, the back end, oh, uh, it was just, <laughs> it wasn't fun. I'm just gonna uh, leave that little truck parked right there until we get some sunlight on it. You can see nothing but mud on these tires and it's a sticky mud and because I'm in low range I can't get enough RPMs going to sling the mud out enough RPMs on the wheels I, uh, yeah just slippy sliding all the way down that hill right there but the sand is here so uh, yeah, it's totally caked with mud. That makes steering a problem. You're basically skating without an edge on your skate. Poor old Ray. <laughs> Ray was riding in the front with me. Probably a big pucker mark over there on that uh, passenger seat. All right, since I've made it pretty clear that I'm not driving that road again until it dries out some, and we're out of stone. So the guys are yeah, I feel bad for him having to go down and get it by hand, but uh, almost ended up in the canyon actually three different times. Each time at the last two culverts and once on the just coming down the ridge. 
it's just too slick. So, the guys are going to have to get rock here from the creek bed. How many times did you have to push your motor, Tate? <laughs> Many times. Many times? Tate, like most Filipinos, is an expert uh, motorcycle driver. And he, I'm just guessing he pushed his motorcycle halfway here. Rather than riding it. Try to get some of this mud off my sandals. Well, it's just pretty much a waste of time. It's going to get caked on again. Ron Mars, my hero. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Raniel? Um, With his girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so used up all the sand. I uh, got this beefed up a little bit better here. All the way along. Tata says that that portion right there is just going to fill with, fill with soil. Yeah, Tata, just soil right there. Yeah. Yeah, the the blue one. What is that? Clay? Special clay? Like durite. Okay. And uh, added another layer over here. And uh, what are you going to do if we get more sand down here, Tatai? What's the plan? So bring that up another four inches. And add some soil here. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to try uh, to. The purpose is uh, the road is wet. Slippery. You have a hiding. Ah, so you have a curb, so you don't end up in the ditch like I almost did? Yeah. <laughs> stopper. Yeah, stopper. Remember this portion is uh, Yeah, you definitely don't want to uh, go off the edge here. Mm. All right. Put the sacks in the trucks, guys. I'm going to go home. I'm trying my best to. Okay. All right. Right here is where I had the problem coming up, loaded. I got stuck right there. Uh, that little. There's a little hole right there, and uh, I had to put some rock in there because uh, uh, that's where I got stuck. Eventually, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed that uh, rock that's in our driveway, it's, it's like three-quarter crush. We'll probably need six yards or so eventually on this slope. Uh, so that it's it remains mostly passable. Now look, a multi-cab with four-wheel drive, not loaded, will never have a problem with this hill, no matter what. The other side also. But anything other than a multi-cab, uh, well, you know, there's a reason why I don't own anything that's not a four-wheel drive. Uh, it's because I live in the province of the Philippines, and this is what you can expect. Um, but if you ever want a delivery truck or anything to come through here, you d you're definitely going to have to have some kind of rock put in here. Mm. 
I'm just idling along here. I'm more sliding than uh, driving. I don't know if I can get around this rock or not. You know, Now this one, you know, and the other culverts, I was a little bit of a pucker factor. And this one, if you go over, you're just going to end up in a rice field. The others, uh, if you go over, it's not much fun at all. And here I almost ended up out in that rice field because it wouldn't turn. And this is just going to basically be wheel spin all the way to the top if I even make it. You can see by these tracks when I was coming down. that I was just basically sliding down and not uh, driving down. Let's see, without four-wheel drive, I never would have made that. Because it was constant wheel spin, even in four-wheel drive. But within reason, these little trucks would crawl up anything. I'm pretty much done for the day. I don't think, I'm not, I'm not taking another load of, they need another load of sand, but I'm not taking it. Not today. I'm just, uh, I'm not gonna do it, even if it doesn't rain anymore today. Now, if it doesn't rain anymore today, and it doesn't rain tonight, then I'll take them some. But this truck is not going on that road again, loaded, until that dries out some. So I'm pretty much done with the road today. Thank you guys. If you like, comment, share, and subscribe.